Welcome to the video. We're going to go ahead and do the second jo uh, jewelry bag. As y'all know, I waited a whole month for these and the bags did not look great. But I'm going to get them anyway because I waited a whole month. The last one was not too great at all. And I don't really even see anything interesting in here. It's a lot of plastic. But they're still fun, and I'm going to get them. Because you just never know. Uh, I think the manager or somebody put this one together, uh, the last one together, because there was no silver or any anything too good. So let's see what we got. That's a real pink bangle. I think it's made out of wood or plastic. Uh, made in it's uh, rubbed off. Anyway, it says ROC, but that's worn down. Worn, worn, worn. It's kind of a little, I think it's supposed to be an earring. Christmas, oh, here's another one of those. I didn't know that would be. Did they split these up? Oh, they're just tricky, tricky, tricky. That's not nice. We had that in the last one. So now they have a match. And so this is pretty much, it's just old, but it's corroded. But it's really pretty disgusting, quite frankly. So it's going to be another trash. And here's just a bracelet. It's uh, very thin. Might say something on here. Coventry. It's worn though. Um, it's a neat design. We're looking at the shape of things and just we'll enjoy being surprised by how jewelry is always different. It's always fun. I don't expect much out of these bags, but I was going to get them anyway. We have a tangled mess. Uh, this is like, I don't even know what this is. I guess this goes in there, but it's broken. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Put it in the craft lot. Someone crafty can do something with these things. Um, this is a ribbon. I'm not sure what these are. It's plastic. It's kind of unusual, isn't it? I don't know what time period or anything. Leave a comment if you have a clue. Oh yeah, they're splitting these up because this one See, that's from the last bag, so now we have a match. Oh, I don't like people that do that. It's just not nice. Like it's just, like their bags are so amazing, please. So I'm getting together a little Christmas lot. Betty's going to want to show us that, oh, it's... Yeah, it's magnetic. It looked it. I have a bracelet lot. Oh, this is a necklace. That was a surprise. Kind of. Um, I don't know if there's any hope of getting these tangles out while I'm got this going and I really don't have the ability to oh here comes a key popping out 
don't really have the ability to edit because this computer is a work computer and I can't download anything. Okay, well, we got a floor delay. What are those colors? Is that like a, some kind of a, is that the New Orleans Saints? It's not, is it? Uh, Y'all, I have never seen a mess like this. This is bad. Well, we're just going to try to, I know y'all are saying take those clasps off, but it's just such a mess. I don't think this is sterling or anything, but I imagine there's a pretty decent bracelet and a necklace under here. Let's see if we can get it out. No, y'all, it's not gone. Not gonna come out. Don't think I've ever seen such a tangled. I don't know why it's so tangled. Something in here has gotten them all tangled up. Maybe the whole lot was donated in a big tangled mess. Well, anyway. Oh, there it goes. Nice. It's not precious metal. So we have a pretty Lord de Lee. Real pretty. That one's nice. I'm not gonna mess with this whole thing. Here's this rose uh, necklace. Just a little very inexpensive little vintage thing. Vintage for me is 70s. Probably go in the craft lot. Well, we have, uh-huh, this is the earring match. And now it's really tangled in there. Okay, well, this is what's gotten everything all upset. It's some huge chain thing. Of course, it's not precious metal. I don't even know how all this goes or how you would wear it. But I'm just going to set it. Look at that. If you like chains, there's you some chains right there. Oh, look, there's the match, y'all. And this, I can't tell if that's a stone or not. Um, Plasticky. We're just going to look to see if anything's good. Uh, this is a glass. This is what I'm interested in is these little things, but I'll have to revisit that at another time. I don't think I can get them off. Can't even find where they start. I think they're plastic. So we're not going to mess with that. We got a butterfly, Susan. Now that is kind of special. Huh. Let's see if it has any. I don't think it has any marks, but let me just make sure. No. That's neat, though. That's very special, actually. 
AEO, I forgot who that is. And so anyway, don't want to lose my butterfly. There's a key in there. Here's this one, y'all. Y'all recognize this from the last video. So these people are just annoying. I don't like that. But, you know, somebody's going to be buying them. And the next batch could be just seeing if this key is anything. It certainly doesn't look it. It's silver plated. Oh, no. No way. Betty, Betty. Wow, I did not expect this. I just did not expect this. I believe it says 925. It doesn't. It's just... It has a yellow tone, which, now if I could find the end of the bracelet, the necklace, I can, let me just make sure. Nine, two, five, baby. Oh yeah, we're happy with that. That's nice. <laughs> now all of a sudden, it's heavy too. Oh, I didn't expect that. They must have not seen that. They would have been selling that. Look. There's the kind of clasp that you know those are always saying something. Let me see if this is Italy or something. No, it's just 925. This is fantastic. Wow. That's why you just, I mean, is it worth $10 for the bag? It is to me. That is solid. Treasure. That is really cool. Now mixed down in here is this little bird. Um, so anyway, there's all that. This one is stone. I can feel that. And it's got the dove with it. I mean, this is just her. Have you all ever seen anything like that in a jewelry jar? I'll get it apart and let y'all know, you know, later if it was anything. But I'm ecstatic over that key. That key just popped out, didn't it? I'll have to watch the video just to see that. Now, this looks pretty nice here. It's... Probably pewter, Mount Vernon, Virginia. The nation's capital, Washington, D.C. You have to be careful because sometimes these can be 925. There it is. Must make sure, but I don't see a mark in there. No. That's pretty nice. With the dog tag chain. I don't know what kind of stone this is, but it is a stone. I'm saying that's plastic, but yeah, it's it's nothing good. So there's those. What's this? This is just you know. It's just plastic. Practically trash, but I'll throw it in the craft lot. And um, this is a faux pearl. I'm checking the, the clasp says something, but I don't think it's going to say. It'll probably say Japan or something. I'll look in a minute. It's kind of unusual. Uh, very unusual. Let's see what the clasp says. Yep, Japan. 
Is it broken? What are these? Go, it goes on like this. Is that right? So, I mean, that's decent. And that would be vintage, wouldn't it? When was Japan making the pearl stuff? Here's like something useful for... I have a lot of pendants that don't have a necklace with them. This is like stainless steel or something. Right, Betty? Well, Betty says that she doesn't stick to it, but I don't see a mark. It's kind of bent out of shape. I'll go over it real good. I'll go over everything real good after the video, but that's not bad. Is this another one of those things? What are they? Oh, that doesn't go with it. Like a goldish. It's just, I think that's kind of older. I don't really know what that is. This is just a little, um, I think these are plastic. You got that one real pretty, like an Austrian crystal right there. And I think the matching earrings, there's some earrings going around that go with it. Uh, beads on this bracelet. Spiky bracelet. Somebody must have made that. I don't have any idea what this kind of stuff is that they stick into jewelry jars. Now, I know y'all are not turquoise. It feels like plastic. Yeah. The colors are pretty though, right? It's all plastic. What does this say? Nothing. It had said something at one time. Giorgio Beverly Hills. Now, I imagine this thing is fake. Fake as the day is long. Because it just does not have a quality look. I'll look it up, but... There's a little something right there. No, it's just metal marks, marks on the metal. China on the inside of that. Um, I don't think this is Giorgio of Beverly Hills. Is that supposed to be, <laughs> is that supposed to be a ruby? That's hilarious. That's just so plastic. Okay, we'll look that one up, but and let's just see what the rest is. They are so sneaky. This was in the other bag, so now we have a match. And these kind of all go together. Oh, that's a cool keychain. Hold on, I like that. This seems to be brass. Yep. Yeah. That's really nice. It is. Look how solid that is. That is heavy. You want a keychain where you won't lose your keys? That's it. I mean, that is just... I might have to use that. I like it. Angel pen. Little pearls, and then uh, this is the end. Those feel cold. Let me take a closer look. Yeah, this is some kind of agate or stone. I like that. I like that. The find of the day was the sterling with a heart. Uh, what do you call those kind of keys? Old-timey style. 
Nice. All right, I'll detangle this mess, but if there's something in it, I'll leave it in the comment. The nicest part is this stone. I need to clean that up if it will. Thanks for joining us. Good luck to everybody. Happy hobbying.